Hello Cancer, welcome to another love reading. We're going to be looking at what your person is currently thinking or feeling about you and what are their intentions or potential actions for the near future. As always, keep in mind these readings are meant to be general, so they will not and cannot resonate with every Cancer watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you, and leave the rest. Messages for Cancer, please. Or just Cancer. Talk to no spirit. Regarding love with this other person, what do we need to know? Tell me about Cancer's energies. What are Cancer's energies in this connection? What are Cancer's energies in this connection? Cancer's energies. Spider. So you're hard at work creating something. Working tirelessly. I feel like you put in, I, I, I feel like you're giving your all here. Either you have a lot of um, ideas about this connection or you feel like with some work, this could have a lot of potential. Um, maybe this person that you're dealing with is a very creative, hardworking individual, or you are. Tell me about Cancer's person. What are their energies in this connection, Spirit? Tell me about Cancer's person, please. What are their energies in this connection? Fish. Okay, so your person kind of is moving without direction here with the fish. Not really sure where to go. Let me look at the fish a little bit closer here. Oh, it opened right at that. Restlessness, change of focus, lost in the current. So I feel like it's just moving. Your person's just making moves here. Um, maybe not really centered in any one relationship, or maybe this person feels like they're never truly there. Like they're never truly present in your connection. The fish becomes lost without clear goals and intentions. Usually the fish may be a, the roaming lifestyle of the fish may be exhilarating for a while, but usually leads to wariness and slippery relationships. So the fish, you know, very restless, um, not really sure which direction to go in. Maybe your person isn't sure about this, as sure of this connection as you seem to be cancer. Maybe they haven't been able to or willing to commit fully to this connection. Let's see. What are the mutual energies here, Spirit? Using the wisdom of the Oracle deck for this. All of the decks that I'm using are linked in the description box if you're curious. Mutual energies between Cancer and this other person. What are their mutual energies here? What's going on? Let's see what's going on in this connection. Mutual energies, please, Spirit. What's going on in this connection? Going on. I want this one. Yin. No place like home. Okay. Bottom of the deck, all that glitters. Something here is not as it seems, or something here is an illusion. Um. There's something I feel also that needs to be uncovered. See the masks in this picture? It's like someone's not being fully themselves. Not, again, that feeling of not being fully present, you know, in the connection. Not fully, you know, like their attention is not really here. I don't know why I'm picking up that energy. Now with the yin energy, this is all about going with the flow, surrender, like a calmness. Um, having faith that things will unfold as they're meant to. Um, let me see what other keywords are here in case it resonates. Letting someone else make the first move, gathering information, taking in cues, the art of conscious allowing, allowing things to happen, 
things to flow to you. Hmm. This is a time of calculated receptivity as you gracefully await what is coming to you, ready to accept when it happens. I feel like what I'm picking up here, Cancer, is like you are okay with the situation because you feel like this is your person. Um, I feel like this is someone you're very comfortable with or this is someone that feels like home to you. Either that or th this person... I feel hasn't let you go. And I say either because this is mutual energy. So you're both here. Um, either that or your person is very attached to you or feels like you are their home. But they still will not make any concrete decisions, if that makes sense. So let's dig in here. What is going on here? I'm going to be using the Light Sears row deck for this i'm gonna lay down a few cards for each of these energies to kind of clarify what's going on and then i'll clarify with a different deck for cancer show me what i need to see for cancer regarding this connection Please keep in mind, these are general readings. Therefore, you know, a lot of people watching, so it won't resonate 100%. And sometimes it won't resonate at all, and that's okay. It just wasn't your reading this time around. Uh, check back next week or check another one of your placements if it's more prominent in your chart. All right, let's get into it. If you enjoyed the reading, please hit the like button and subscribe. It really helps out the channel a lot, and it's free. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. What's the main energy here for Cancer? And this other person, main energies, please. Hermit Reverse did want to come out. For some reason, they just want me to, okay. Queen of Swords, King of Swords Reverse. So right away, I can see that you're both, um, you're not on the same page here with the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords Reversed. Um, Again, I'm getting, I'm just getting the energy that the King of Swords, this King of Swords is not very open, very closed off, even more than the Queen of Swords. Almost like the Queen of Swords, at least she knows what's going on. She has a grasp on the situation, but this King of Swords doesn't. And then I have the Hermit Reverse Virgo energy. This is someone that's extremely withdrawn, not listening to their intuition, not really taking into account what advice or you know not very realistic when it comes to figuring answers out or whatever you know because the hermit here when he, when he's reversed for me as a reader he's a little closed off and it affects this connection i feel like both of you are kind of like in this no man's land bottom of the deck i have the three of pentacles this reminds me of that spider energy. I feel like there's this something to do with work or effort. It's like someone feels it's a waste of time. We're going to have to dig in here and see. Or a bad investment or like not worth it to put in work. Tell me about Cancer's energies. Now, Cancer, I have you on this side and your person on the other, but feel free to flip the roles if they resonate more. Tell me about Cancer's energies, please. In this connection, what are their thoughts or feelings? In this connection, please. Okay, Three of Cups reverse. Four of Swords, Nine of Wands Reverse, okay. So what I'm picking up here is like you are willing to give to this to, to make this happen here, but at the same time, either you're not, you're not taking action or you're not talking to this person. I feel like part of you wants to give up but hasn't completely 
Um, maybe your guard isn't, you know, as strong as it was before. And, it, you know, I have the moon here at the bottom. Pisces energy, it's like there's a lot of confusion here, unknown. A lot of, something's an illusion here. Yeah, look, I have the high priestess right after. Something's off here. If this is resonating, Cancer, please let me know down in the comments how the reading is resonating for you. All right, so tell me about Cancer's person. What are their energies in this connection? What's up with this fish? Their energies in this connection. Five of Swords reverse. Ace of Pentacles. See, this person is not committing or is unable to give you a solid offer. Or maybe they're delayed. Hey, 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 take it somewhere else. Sorry guys, those are my dogs in the background. Tell me more about their energies, please. The star reversed, Aquarius energy with the star reversed. Again, this feeling of like hopelessness, um, why keep trying? Why keep investing? Why keep working on something? It's like you're both on very different pages here. I'm not sure why this person cannot commit. I don't know if it's financial or if it's a third party or um, maybe they are just commitment phobes. Like they're not really like that's not their thing. Um, I feel like there was something that happened between you with this five of swords reverse. Like there was a fight or an argument or something like that. Um, Maybe that shifted things here. Maybe someone wasn't playing fair and got caught. So let's clarify. Sorry, let me clarify these energies for cancer. Let's get to this because I feel like this is not really like a black and white situation. I. I I just am getting the sense that th there's more to this than meets the eye. Just like that, all that glitters is gold show showed up. This whole idea about an illusion. There's something here that's off. All right, Cancer, let's get into this. Why is the Hermit reverse? Using the Tarot Grand Lux here. Why is the Hermit reverse? Chariot. There you are. Cancer energy here, strong cancer energy. There could be distance between you. Um, someone's trying to figure out how to move forward and still hasn't figured it out. Tell me about the Hermit Reverse. Okay. Ooh. Five of Wands, Seven of Coins. So I'm not going to take these because they kind of just like, it was like sloppy shuffling, but I wanted to see what came out. Again, with the Seven of Pentacles, um, there's something here to do with time. Like either a lot of time has passed or um, someone's been waiting a long time. Something like that. Tell me about the Hermit Reverse. Okay, justice kind of came out in limbo, so I'm just going to take it just like that. Libra energy. A lot of major arcanas here. It's like someone's trying to figure out how to rebalance a situation, how to bring back the balance here. How to be truthful and objective, but they like waver. Tell me about the Hermit Reverse. Maybe something doesn't feel like it's fair. And so they've withdrawn because of that. Ten of coin, what? Interesting. Page of swords. So there's some sort of communication here. Someone wants to have a serious talk about long-term commitment. And they want it to be open and honest communication. They don't want any more wishy-washy conversations about this. I have a feeling this is you, Cancer, because you're the one willing to work. you want to move forward but someone's not it's like every time that they that you approach them they want to run away from this tell me about the queen of swords
What's the Queen of Swords here? The star. Some of you are dealing with an Aquarius. Tell me about the Queen of Swords. I feel like you have someone here. And I say someone again because this is mutual energy. So you're both here. I feel like your person has no hope in this. But I feel like maybe you do. Like you still have hope. I love the Queen of Swords. Four of Coin. Someone here could be holding back. Maybe you're trying to protect. Ooh, Seven of Swords. Okay. Well, yeah, I would want to protect myself from that too. Cancer, I just feel if you're this Queen of Swords here, which I have a feeling you are, I feel like it's your person that's this King of Swords reverse. Maybe they're not the best communicators. Maybe they, they are not able to be completely honest with you for one reason or another. Maybe they can't talk to you. Maybe there's not a lot of communication here. Whatever the case may be. I feel like you are very clear headed when it comes to this connection. Like you know what you want, you know how much work it's gonna take. Um, you're kind of like going with the flow, seeing where it goes. But at the same time, you're protecting yourself. Maybe because in the past you've caught this person doing something they shouldn't have been doing. Maybe because you can kind of feel like you're not getting all, like the whole story. I feel like part of uh for another group of you here i feel like you you're trying to make a decision about whether to stay in this connection or or like is there any hope here tell me about this hey tell me about this king of swords reverse i don't know why they decided to play right next to me tell me about the king of swords reverse there's the king of swords reverse here Five of Cups, regret, disappointment, remorse here. Yeah, so your person feels bad. Oh yeah, definitely. Oh yeah, Ace of Wands reverse. It's your person's fault that nothing has happened. I mean, I hate to say it like that, but it is. And it's like they have regret here because they're not able to offer you anything. Page of Coin, Knight of Coin reverse. Ace of Pentacles reverse. Uh, maybe they... Maybe this has been going on for a while. What's here? Six of Wands, the Sun. Maybe this has been going on for a while and um, maybe they're financially unable to, to give you something or um, there's a reason why this can't really take off here with the Ace of Wands reverse. It's like a promise was made, but it wasn't really like nobody was able to deliver. So let's get into this. I'm going to start with you, actually. Let me move this over. I'm going to start with you over here. Tell me about this Three of Cups reverse. Do you have a third party situation or are you thinking of a third party situation? Or is this just, you can't come together with this person? Let's see. Tell me about this Three of Cups reverse. Oh, okay. The Lovers. Gemini energy with the Lovers. What's this? Five of Swords again. King of Cups reverse. A lot of disappointment on your part. I feel like your person chose a queen of wands down here. Or a queen of wands is kind of in the middle of this. Or you could even be this king of cups reversed. But I feel like this is you. You are very, you are very uh, hurt by this person. By whatever this five of swords was. Whether it was this person deceiving you or yeah, there was some sort of secret here. Yeah, and it caused one of you to withdraw and have the moon reverse. So it's like something came to light here. You realize something about this person. Uh, maybe you realize that they had someone else or chose someone else or there was two, two or more people here. Or maybe they just lied about a friend, a family situation, um, money or work, whatever. There was some sort of deception here. And that's why we had the all that glitters is in gold. Tell me about the Four of Swords. 
reflecting, resting. Yeah, I feel like I feel like you are looking for a long-term commitment and if someone's not going to give it to you, like you check out. Yeah, this is somebody here that's not able to give you a commitment. They probably are in another situation. I need to get out of it. Double reverse. Yeah, I feel like this Queen of Wands might be a, uh, a interfe interference here, either on your end or on their end. Tell me about the Nine of Wands reverse. And you, ha you guys had a reading a while ago about a third party like was a mess, like a third party situation was a mess. Tell me about the Nine of Wands reverse. Why is there a Nine of Wands reverse? Yeah, there's no clarity here, no truth, no open and honest communication. And I feel like that's all you want. You want someone to just be straight with you. Yeah, and I feel like this is about a commitment. I feel like you have a lot of love for this person. Maybe in your mind, this is the one. But I don't think they're available. Like they're not in it. Let's say that's not a third party. They're still not able to commit to you for one reason or another here. Tell me about this Ace of Pentacles reversed over here. Why the Ace of Pentacles reversed? What's the deal? Why is the Ace of Pentacles reversed? Three of, oh no, not three, but an Empress and the Seven of Coin. I'm telling you, there's somebody here. Yeah, and then I have the Two of Coin at the bottom. There's, there's juggling going on here. And I feel like this has happened for a while. Um, I feel like your person, if it's not another, let's say this isn't a third party, because I'm sure there's people that are gonna tell me in the comments that it's not a third party, which is fine. Um, I'm just telling you what I see. But this person, if it's not a third party, they're not able to commit or give you an offer because they're still trying to grow something. They're still trying to invest in something and are wondering, you know, is this the right investment for me? Like, should I even commit to this person? Tell me about the Five of Swords reverse. This is somebody that no longer wants to, I guess, have this conflict. Tell me about this Five of Swords reverse. Why is it here? Five of Coin. This person is struggling. Tell me about the Five of Swords. They're feeling shut out. Maybe you shut them out because of what happened. Oh. This Queen of Wands keeps coming up. I don't know who this is, but I feel like they are definitely in the way here in some way or another. Nine of Cups, Tower, Reverse. I feel like your person, for, for them... It's almost like... Yeah. Yeah. Your person... Whatever decision put them in this situation that they're in right now, um, all they're thinking of right now is getting their emotional fulfillment. I feel like in order to get their wish here, um, they're going to need to cause a tower or a tower needs to happen and they're going to need to leave a situation. And they're doing it because they're motivated by the past, by what they feel with the Six of Cups reversed here. Yeah, and then have death right after that. Something has to end for your person, which is a common theme here that I'm getting. Um, I feel like in you know your person is not really doing well with this five of coin, with the fact that they are not either you've shut them out or there's a distance or disconnect between you. Um, maybe this queen of wands is making this situation difficult, and I feel like your person's thinking that something has to change. However, I wonder if they have the spine for that because they're, they're the fish. Tell me about the star reverse, please. Why is the star reverse? Eight of coin reverse. Why is the star reverse? Again, not able to put in any effort Judgment reverse, okay. Hangman reverse. Okay, so your person is not, they're not, I don't know if they've told you this, probably not, I have the Knight of Swords reverse, but they're not going to be changing anything in their situation anytime soon. 
So what's the potential outcome here? Okay, let's see. What's the potential outcome here between Cancer and this other person? Spirit, what's the potential outcome here? What's the potential outcome here between Cancer and this person? Knight of Swords reverse. I feel like there's something off with communication. Three of Swords reverse. Page of Swords. What's the potential outcome here? Oops. Hierophant reverse. Get one more for the potential outcome here. 